There's a whole lot of scammers out there impersonating me on the internet, and it seems like Pampi is actually enabling them. As a matter of fact, I strongly believe that every scammer in Nigeria right now actually uses Pampi because Pampi allows you to be able to actually scam people effectively, you know, with their platform. I'm going to be explaining exactly what I mean as we proceed in today's video. So something happened recently. I mean, a lot of persons had been creating an account with my name and my pictures and stuff. You know, posting my pictures, contacting my followers, right? Acting like me and actually successfully scamming people, you know. And um, if you look at Facebook right now, I'm going to see this account that I have blocked a lot of them, right? Look at this account that has a likeness of my name with my picture. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So when I block them, they, they sometimes delete my pictures and create a fresh one or just change the pictures to whatever, all right? See a whole lot of them right here. You keep going, I'm gonna be seeing a whole lot of them. Right? This is the most recent one, and this is another one. This guy had changed his profile picture. And it is not just on Facebook, right? It also happens on Instagram. This is Instagram, right? And these are people that I have actually blocked on Instagram. So if you come down, you're gonna see this one, um, online hustle with double L. If you don't look closely, you will not see that it has double L, right? Look at this one, Gerald underscore Dume, right? Dume dot Gerald. I look at online hustle one this guy has changed the profile picture because i blocked him look at this one again look at this one with my picture right here i uh, look at this one another one right here right you come down you keep seeing them this is another one here online hustle with double i right if you don't look closely you don't know the variation and i keep going down down i'm gonna be seeing a whole lot of them right i keep blocking them and i keep creating new accounts and what they do the ones that create this account they follow me and of course they begin to um contact all my followers and actually get so i want to say this again that i would never contact you first right and ask you how you are doing anybody that asks how you are doing that have a likeness is a scam that's one right now i'm going to be coming to the pampe thing and show you how to actually scam people effectively with pampe you know just for educational purposes this is what pampe is actually enabling so when you come here on telegram right now you're going to see a whole lot of them this is scam right scam scam right this is scam right this is another scam online host tv channel this is another scam crypto whatever right this is my only real channel right here on telegram that has 7830 subscribers online also underscore tv on telegram that is the only channel that i own on telegram whatever that's here is a scam that has online also you know uh, on it it says scams and all that right so if you come on tiktok this the story is say scam online also tv rrs tv five scam Online also TV one. This one has changed the name, right? And so because I blocked him when he was using my face and my likeness. Online also TV underscore scam, right? This one was using my name initially has changed to my girl cool, right? You know, so all these things are scam. So anybody that actually chats you up. But what actually blew my mind, why I say that it seems as if Pampi is actually enabling these guys, is because most times when these scammers contact people, right? Most of these people are people that know me personally. Or have my number as a matter of fact i put my number out there because of this camera so that people can actually reach me you know to confirm if you know before they actually pay, pay money for anything right so um and this chat happened this person chatted me up and said that somebody was chatting him on tiktok right and give him a phone number um i said ask him for account number he asked this account number that i was giving guess what he has my likeness of my name with pam page <laughs> right so i became spooked and this has happened before on Instagram, where I actually made a video warning you guys about Instagram that the account had Gerald Dume and it was Pampe. So what I did was that I looked at this closely. I found out that instead of this name right here, this guy added a double L, right? And he sent me Pampe. I said, whoa, this is my name. If I now look closely and I found out that there is a double L right here. But this guy now sent an OPE account with Franklin Ugochukun, right? And then he said, Ope and Pampe, the was who was the guy now sent Access Bank with this account number with Access Bank, right? I told him to just block him and he said that he had yeah, just blocked him, right? So what I did immediately was to put a call across to Pampe and this conversation happened. Hey, Pampe, my name is Faith. May I know your name and how maybe your Okay, my, my name is Gerald. Scammers are creating accounts with my, with my image and stuff online, right? But I'm surprised that somehow, somehow, they are creating a Pampe account with my name and they are using it to scam people. I see Pampe account that had my names and variations of my name. And I'm wondering how that is possible for these scammers to be able to create accounts, you know, on Pampe with my, with my, with my name. I think I'll emphasize with you on that, Mr. Gerard. May I know if it's your number that was used to create the account or your name? No, it's not my number.
Okay, it's not, it's not your number, but your name. Yes, my name. Mm -hmm. Okay, if your name was used to create an account, mm -hmm. apologies, please. You might not be the only one answering the name. <sighs> These are scammers. So if it's your number, if it's your number that was used to create the account, okay, then we we'll need to carry out further investigation. But you just said it's only your name that was used to create the account. Mm. This is this is not the first time. This is not the second time it's happening. What these scammers do is that they create accounts, right, on my on 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 social media using my pictures and stuff. They repost my con my con my content, and they reach out to my subscribers, right, and my followers, and keep and start asking them for money, and giving them a plan pay account that has my name with a different number on it, right. So there's no way that you tell me that yes, these are people that are not answer, answering my name. It's not the first time, it's not the second time. I have seen Gerald Ume. I have seen Gerald of Fodile Ume. Right? And I'm wondering, what documentation are they using to create this account on Pampe? Mr. Gerald, I sincerely empathize with you on this. I understand, and I empathize with you on this place. So you can kindly get the evidence of all this and kindly send it to me. Are you with me, please? Yes. Okay, you can kindly send it to our mail for further assistance. Our email address is support at spampay.com. Then for the people that sent money to their accounts, they should please reach out to their bank so their bank will send Pampay an official mail. So we can teach it all from there. Um, when I was going through your website, I saw something that's called a tier one account where you can create account with any name without any documentation. Is there, is there something like that? Okay. Hello? You read my question? Yes, I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you. What, is, what, is a tier, what is a tier one account on Pampe? It's a level on Pampe. It has a daily transaction limit. We have the tier one, tier two, and tier three. So, so this, this so, tier, yeah, go on. So this tier one has a limit. That it can do as a transaction deal. Mm. But so you cannot exceed that limit unless you upgrade to tier two. And once you upgrade to tier two, you need to provide some documents for that. Okay, so but you can create a tier one account without any documentation. Your number, your name. Just name and number. Yes, Mr. Gerald. And 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 anybody can provide any name, so there's no you don't you don't verify that. Once they provide the name and number, you give them a you give them a bank account. Is that how it works? Apologies, Mr. Gerald. If I, you're having I, any I asked, issue, I asked you. I asked you a question. I asked you. I, I understand you. the question you're asking. But but, but you, you're, not you're, you're, you're not. If you're having you're not answering the question. If you're, according to what you said earlier, you called and you asked a tier one, and I told you that a tier one can only be registered with your name and your account number, right? And your details, and we'll verify the number you sent. We'll verify the number, but before you can leave tier one, which has a limit, there are some transactions you don't make with a tier one account. Okay, so, so before you can leave the tier one to another to tier two, that means you need to submit some documents. Okay, so so for me to create a tier one account right now, all I, all I need to do is to download the Pan Pay app, provide any name, and provide your phone number. And when they send me a code, I verify the number, and that's all. I have an account. It's your one account. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So that's what these guys are doing, and I don't I don't know how how it's okay to give somebody an account an account with somebody somebody's name, so I can basically set up an account on Pampe with any bullet bullet any and you give me a tier one account, right? Because that's that's exactly what's happening right here, you know. And pe people get scammed. They they now come and call me and start calling me a scammer that I scammed them because it's obviously my name that they saw, and because they trust my name, they made payment into this account. And these things keep happening, right? And the, and and it's messing up my, my the name I've built out there. And you know it, it's okay. Pampe is enabling is enabling this thing, and it keeps happening. So how, how many of those persons am I going to say to go to their banks where this thing could actually be stopped before it happens by not providing an account number until documentation is actually um, brought? 
or at, at, the, at, at the very least, don't, don't let them operate those accounts. Because once those monies enter the account, it, it, it goes out immediately. Right? Somebody gets scammed and they're calling to come, call me a scammer. Come to my comment section and say, Gerald, return my money. You scammed me. Now imagine how, how, how does that sound? So I can, I can basically come on Pampi, set up an account, use your name, your name now, I don't know what your name, I think it's fake. Use your name and set up an account on Pampi, right? And I send it to your family members and they send money to me, right? And it seems as if they sent it to you. And, and it's okay, I'm, and, and it's okay, and Pampi is actually enabling that. It doesn't make sense. Right? It doesn't it doesn't make sense at all. If you if you listen to this call, my call with Pampe, what it means basically is I can take anybody's name and create an account on Pampe and start scamming people, right? And that is why these scammers are actually thriving because Pampe actually allows them to do that. As a matter of fact, I think OP and a, a, a few banks actually allows you to actually do this also. What that is a tier one account. You allow people to set up an account with anybody's name, right? I can basically set up an account with Tinibu or Joe Biden or whatever create an account on Pampi with any name at all, right, and start scamming people. It doesn't make sense, right? Please, somebody should help me actually make this make sense. Okay? It doesn't make sense. You create an account without BVN, without documentation, nothing, and you set up an account, and you said that the thing is that the account cannot receive more than 50,000 Naira in a day. So if these scammers are able to scam 100 person, 10,000 Naira every single day, right, and move it out, out of the account, they do five in a day, and every day so they can actually scam 50,000 naira every day with this account that doesn't have any documentation and what you're telling me is that i should tell the person that has been scammed to go to their bank and report right where well, you created an account without documentation right i think you should have some level of liability you know because i don't even know if that this is allowed right i don't know if this is allowed i think i'm going to send an email to as customer fraud something something or cbn.com if you know that email let me know in the comment section let me send an email and actually make this um report to cbn and see, and see what happens so guys have you ever had this kind of experience before please let us know in the comment section how did you fix it have you been scammed by this scammer and as a matter of fact people actually get scammed then they now call me and start shouting at me that i'm a scammer i scam them and this and this and that i'm like i scammed you of 5000 10000 15000 20000 what the Am I going to do with 10,000 and 15,000 naira? Not dollars, naira. Right? But that's not even the case. The case is that Pampe is actually enabling these people and it doesn't make sense. And this needs to stop. Before people should be allowed to create a bank account, they should bring their PVN, they should bring documentation, right? And the name on the documentation should match their name. These things are not rocket okay science. Right? As a matter of fact, there are some apps that will require you to take a live video of yourself, right? And send to them. Or basically, Write the today's date or something very unique on a piece of paper, right? Hold it and take a picture with your face and send it to them and they verify these things before they give you an account, right? But then this is Nigeria, anything goes. And it's crazy and it doesn't make sense. So guys, be safe out there. Anybody that gives you a Pampe account number, right? Or any account number at all to make payments, please verify, confirm. Those accounts could be a tier one account that has been created just to scam you. So you guys should stay safe out there. And know that all my social media channels are showing on your screen right now. My Facebook page, my Instagram channel, my TikTok channel, everything is on your screen right now. Or go to the description of this video. You're going to be seeing all those links right there. So stay safe out there. And like I said, I only have one phone number and my phone number is out there. I don't have any admin phone number. I don't have anything at all except that particular phone number. Right? So any other number that anybody gives you is from a scammer. You guys should be smarter than that. You know, so be safe out there and until I see my next video, keep winning. And don't forget that Gerald does love you guys. Bye from here guys.